All right, YouTube. This is your girl, the Leg Lady. I got a little something on my mind. A couple of questions. Well, a couple of things. Um, how can a person not understand or not know when they have been dismissed, so to speak, from a relationship? Um, like. If you haven't heard from your, your guy or your girl in, you know, two or three weeks, no calls, no no replies to your calls, texts, you know, whatever, however y'all used to communicate, and then it goes on to months, you know, three or four weeks, five weeks, you know, and you still calling and texting and trying to find them. But they're not trying to find you. Then you notice that they've removed you from their email, from all forms of contact, but you still don't act like you know that it's over. Um, that's a bit much. And <laughs> I don't understand that. Is it just me? Or are there other people? Y'all let me know, you too, family. And also, if you have been, if you think that you've been dismissed or think that you're being dismissed call at me I will let you know let me know what's going on and I will let you know whether or not you're being dismissed I'm going to go ahead and run down a couple of things that I feel are obvious things first of all haven't heard from you in a month two months you know uh, the cell phone that y'all shared that was in the other person's name has now been disconnected and you just got this phone, but when you call that phone, it's still ringing. Yeah, you've been dismissed. Uh, if you were with somebody and they had maybe some utilities at your place in their name, and now you flip the switch, and even though you paid the bill, it's off. And when you call the phone company, they say that that person called and had it cut off, and they moved. You have been dismissed. Now, in a nasty way, in the worst way, but dismissed nonetheless. Um, yeah. So, if this has happened to you, or this is you, you've been dismissed. Um, something else, piggybacking off that. Oh, resurrecting me after months, sometimes even a year or so, of not hearing from you. Does this? How do you think that you dismissed or dissed somebody? They haven't heard from you, haven't been able to contact you in months, sometimes a year, and then you out of nowhere start talking to them when you, you whatever it was you was doing. First of all, when it take you that long to notice I was gone, what were you doing? Who were you doing? Be for real. And then you want to hit me up out of nowhere as if what you did to me never happened. And then you want to tell me how you was going through some things and things just went right. Hello, we shared a phone, a relationship. We were together. You couldn't tell me then I can't do this. I'm going through some things. Bruh, sis, you couldn't let me know that look here, the lights going to be going off for my food store. You cost me. You cost me. You know what I'm saying? I flip my switch and there ain't no lights. I walk around to other people's apartments to see, you know, if there's an outage in the, in the complex because I know I done paid my money. So now you don't cost me money on my lights. You don't cost me food because my food done spoiled. You know, you done did too much and then you just want to resurrect me and start talking to me like this relationship never ended because now you done either broke up with whoever it was that you was with or you shooting bad for real. Now you want to go back to the food that you was with that you did dirty. <laughs> if this is you, or has been you, or you feel like right now it's being you. Talk to me, let me know how that's working out. Because help me understand, I can't. I don't understand it at all. Now, I have been dismissed, but I knew I was dismissed long before months. Yes, my feelings have been hurt. Yeah, they might get hurt again, I pray they don't. But just to show us people are human, it can happen. I want y'all to talk to me on that tip. You know, what have you been, what was the worst thing that you 
did to somebody as far as dismissing them and the worst thing that has been done to you in a dismissal situation. It could be mild, it could be harsh, but just let me know how things went, how it went down. And one more thing I want to talk about and I need understanding on. How you think, no, I'm not going to say how you think. Do you think that you can turn your hunch thing into your main thing? Let me say it again. Can you, do you think you can turn your hunch thing, meaning your sex partner, somebody that you have agreed that we are just going to have sex, that is all I want from you, that is all you want from me? Can you turn your sex thing or your hunch thing into your main thing? Help me understand because I just don't see how that works. Because when I was, you know, doing my thing on the just hunch tip, I, you know, if that was the agreement, if I start to feel myself feeling that person more, then I would back up off it. And if I would start to see that they was feeling me more than just a hunch thing, I would just miss them, you know. I, I did it. I would, I would do it. But is it possible to turn your hunch sex thing into your main thing? Let me know if it's possible, you two family. Let me know if you have done it. You know, did it work out? Is it still going now? Did you break up because you just got tired of each other? Or did you just start to see that I should have just kept on sexing you and left you after I bust mine? When I got mine, I should have got up and went home. I shouldn't have brought you with me. I should not have made this more than it was. Tell me, can it happen? Did it happen? Are you in it? Are you thinking about it? And also with that, how do you or have you let a person go that you see wants your sex thing to be more than it is? Do you just stop talking to them? Do you outright tell them? And what if that person, you know, you tell them that you can't do this, you just wanted it to be there. And what if they start trying to tell you that they love you, they want to be with you? Do you tell them there ain't no way? You just whooped? That thing a was real good to you or that cooch was real good to you, that's all it is? We never been on a date? We never watched movies together? I never cooked for you, you never cooked for me? We never did anything other than intercourse. How in the... <laughs> world can you be in love with me you just are you just whooped are they just whooped let me know are they just whooped are they in love with the way you put it down or are they put it down on y'all chemistry let me know how this works i'm not gonna do it been there done that i have had i have had some that made me want to be like oh this needs to be mine and i wish another chick would get up on it <laughs> but I knew, I kept in my mind that this is what it is. And I've also had some brothers be like, look here, I understand this is what we're doing, what we're doing, but you better not get us to nobody else. Or what about this one? <laughs> I know you might be giving this to somebody else or you might give it to somebody else at some point, but you better not give it to them like you give it to me. <laughs> what about that one? But on the real, y'all just tell me some experiences. Tell me, do you feel like these things really can work? So, you know, I, um, <laughs> just let me know. These are just general things that are on my mind that I talk to, that people talk to me about or that just pop in my head. But I just want to know <laughs> what you think. Talk to me, you two, because clearly I need some, you know, some assistance on this here. All right, y'all holler back at me. Um, again, this is your girl, the Lady. Talk to me.